All right, so in this problem, I have 500 squared minus 499 squared. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 499 here as 500 minus 1. So now I have 500 squared minus 500 minus 1 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is going to be 500, and b is going to be 1. So now this is going to equal 500 squared minus 500 squared minus 2 times 500 times 1 plus 1 squared. Now I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. So I'm going to actually have to distribute the, this negative sign. So I'm going to distribute it to all my terms here. So first off, I have negative 500 squared. Then I have negative of negative, which is positive. 2 times 500 is 1,000. 1,000 times 1 is 1,000. And now I have 1 squared, which is simply 1. Now 500 squared and 500 squared, these two cancel out. And I am left with 1,000 plus 1, which is simply 1,001. So 1,000 and, oh, sorry, 1,001 is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 25 here as 5 squared. So now I have x to the power of 4 minus 5 squared is equal to 0. Now x to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2. So I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 5 squared is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I can write as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 5 squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I have a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 5. So now I have x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. And I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So let's first start with x squared minus 5 equals 0. So to solve this, I'm going to start by adding 5 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to 5. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So the square root of x squared, that's obviously x, and I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5. So this, these are two solutions to this problem. Now I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to negative 5. Now if I take the square root on both sides, I get the square root of x squared is equal to square root of negative 5. And the square root of x squared, that's x. The square root of negative 5, I can write this as the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. 
And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to the magic number i. So I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5i. So these are my four solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting x minus 1 squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x squared minus 1 minus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. Now, x squared minus 1, I can rewrite as x squared minus 1 squared, because 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So now I have x squared minus 1 squared minus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. And I just put this in parentheses to make it easier to look at. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I have x squared minus 1 squared, and in this case, a is x squared, and b is 1. So I have, or sorry, a is x, and b is 1. So I have x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now I have this minus x minus 1 times x minus 1, because it's the same thing as x minus 1 squared. And now this is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out x minus 1, I get x minus 1 times x, mi x plus 1 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is simply x plus 1. Now, I have this minus x minus 1 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is simply x minus 1. This is equal to 0. Now, this is equal to x minus, minus 1 times x plus 1 minus x plus 1 is equal to 0, which is equal to x minus 1 times x and negative x cancel out. So all I'm left with is 2 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to distribute 2. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So I have 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if I add 2 on both sides, I get 2x is equal to 2, meaning x is equal to 1. So now to check, my equation was x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. So x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 squared. x is equal to 1, so I have 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 squared. 1 minus 1 is 0, and 1 minus 1 squared is 0 squared, which is 0. So this is right, meaning my solution is right. 